Hey guys, DMike here for the final episode of the regular gameplay run through of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. So we made it through the formidable oak. That was quite the challenge. There was so much goo. However, we were able to confront the Plasm Wraith, who once again reabsorbed Captain Olimar. Let's go confront this bad boy. All that glitters is not gold. He's a bad man. Or woman. I don't even, I mean, I don't think it, I don't know if it's sentient. I have no idea. But what's convenient is that it's just going to be hanging out. It literally will hang out. And you can do this fight in as long of a period of time as you want to. You can literally do whatever you want. As long as you finish it within the amount of juice you have left, I guess. Okay. So we're going to use Elf. And Alf is going to be our rock commander. He is the pewter gym. And everybody else, Charlie and Brittany, will be... Oh, I can't do math, apparently. Let's do 15 of each. Just a moment here while I figure out how to do casual math. You're going to want the most of rocks, though, and you'll see why in a moment. So we've got a good cocktail of Pikmin with those guys. Now with Alf, you're going to want to immediately... Nope. <laughs> now with Alf, you're going to want to immediately not hit the wrong button. All right, so let's go ahead and juice up a rock Pikmin. And we will charge. So you're going to see what we're going on here in a moment. Now you'll understand briefly why we want our Pikmin to to be rocks. So the Plasm Wraith has the ability to do this kind of a kind of attack where it will kind of dig into the ground like this. And if it does that, it can kill your other Pikmin. But similar to other circumstances, rock Pikmin are immune, which is very convenient. But once the Plasm Wraith starts to get kind of low on HP, which seems to already be happening, ooh, it will start to spit out its core. And when it does that, it is elementally affected. So you gotta stay away from that. If you have the right type of Pikmin, that's good. Let's check out this data file as it tries to hunt us down. So yeah, you're gonna wanna attack the fragments as it spreads apart. So it's gonna reabsorb itself and hunt us down, in which case we will reapply the rock Pikmin to attack it until it breaks apart again. This attack is the one where it's kind of like poking into the ground. That one. All right. This is where there's danger. Anytime that the core gets spit out, there's danger. You've already seen the fire core. In this case, this is the water core. If you couldn't have already guessed. The moment it spits out its core and depending upon what elemental affinity it is, you're going to want to be careful because it will try to kill you with that. Your Pikmin will be very susceptible so the name of the game is basically just trying to take out the goo that we're able to knock off of its haunches. Watch out for the cores. Stay away from the cores. Okay, so we've seen the fire core. We've seen the water core. This is the fire core again. Realistically speaking, you don't have to use all the different types of Pikmin to do this. I am keeping them as standby, but rock Pikmin are, you know, realistically speaking, the best way to go. Also, you got to be careful here because once it starts to fly, we don't really have a good way to get at it. I probably could have just done this with, you know, purely with Rock Pikmin, but I wanted to show it off a little bit. At least let it do its attacks. It's going to spit out another core, I believe, soon. Rock Pikmin are just so useful here. They'll be able to chip away at it a little bit. It spits out another data file that says the plasma ray tube, it starts to fly, send in your winged Pikmin, or just wait. That also works. But make sure that you're mopping up the goo. Poor rock Pikmin, having to pick up all this goo. Ugh, nasty. Yeah, once it flies, you can't really do much. And it's got different types of cores, obviously. The electricity core is the one that's over there now that you've seen that. So we have to be careful. But yeah, this actually... You know, 
This fight isn't quite as annoying as just trying to get through the formidable oak in the first place. I'm assuming maybe it's a little bit more treacherous when you fight it unprepared, but um, D might play is we're a pro here. No, not in the slightest. Okay, so we've got a little bit more goo left over that we're trying to knock out. Just make sure you're always mopping the goo up. Mop up the goo, attack the plasm wraith, rinse and repeat. There it is. It's getting pretty weak now because it's starting to really spit the goo out. Now you have to be careful though, because once it hits a certain level of HP, the core dispersal will get higher. So it is getting pretty low, as you can see. We've got one Rock Pikmin trying to be a hero over here. It'll start to spit out multiple cores. You have to really be careful. But so far, so good. Rock Pikmin are just too good. If you've played the other Pikmins, um, there's a certain color of Pikmin that's not too far off what Rock Pikmin are colored. And I would say that Rock Pikmin are kind of similar in quality. All right, so we're doing okay so far. Oh, geez. He really gave Alf the old skidoo. We don't want that. This, as you could have obviously imagined, is the rock Pikmin core. It's got a core for, I believe, every Pikmin except for the winged Pikmin, which obviously it just flies. So what we're doing so far so good. We're not even halfway through the day yet, and we've done a pretty good chunk of its damage. But you just have to be very careful because... Any Pikmin that aren't suitable for whatever type of core it is. It just takes a little bit longer to get back into the cycle that you can attack it. And you might think that you're making progress because of the amount of... Oh, geez. He's really sending out for a loop here. You might think you've been making progress because of the amount of uh, goo that you're knocking off of it. But, you know, you have to be mindful of the fact that it does reabsorb it. So... We just have to keep hammering away. Rock Pikmin are doing their darndest. And just be watching yourselves for when the goo turns into cores. You will lose Pikmin very easily. Man, Alpha's is really taking a beating here. What a trooper, though. Yeah, and I mean, adding the other Pikmin in when you destroy the cores, all that essentially does is speed up the process. Because it's just going to keep spitting cores out, rinsing and repeating. And see, we've already get, got it down to a quarter of health, so we're actually doing pretty well. But once the once the quarter of health hits hits the the mark, this is when it's starting to it, it starts to go into its final phase, where <laughs> Alpha will get absolutely crushed. But um, it will split out three cores, so it does take a little bit more time. But we're doing okay. I honestly think we should... Nope. This is not a... <laughs> that was not a good use of our time. Yeah, I'd love to get the other captains involved, but it's a little risky. And I'm not trying to get my Pikmin killed here. Yeah, you can... You know, we're getting pretty close to the end here. I'm gonna whistle our Pikmin back so they don't get eaten up by the cores. Okay, there's a little bit of goo here. Get this goo. All right, we're getting pretty close to being done. Surprisingly, this final boss is just, it's not as bad or as hectic as the formidable oak labyrinth in and of itself. Like it's, it's just not, it's just not as bad. Like there's no way that it's as bad. We're doing pretty well. We've got it almost down to a fifth of health. So it feels pretty good. Just gotta kind of rinse and repeat everybody. That's literally all this is about. Be mindful of where your Pikmin are. Whistle them back if you need to. No, get that goo. Get that goo right there. Pikmin, get the goo. There it is. You have to take off a sliver of its health every time. Looks like it's got two water bubbles here, two water cores, and then a fire core. Try to lure it away. Okay. And then we'll go back and keep at it. This thing is so strange looking. Like, I'm not... It even, like, it, it, it's thick, too. Like, look at it. Look how thick this thing is. It's so thick. But usually we like thick, but in this case, we don't like thick. In this case, we hate it. We hate how thick this thing is. All right. I believe I saw, I thought I saw some goo behind it. We're missing a Pikmin somewhere. Did it get eaten? Where are you? Where's my wayward 
rock pick but it must it might have passed away where did it go oh no he's still there we gotta get him yeah this is why rock pikmin are the best because they can't be crushed which is obviously ideal and they're immune to that kind of splattery attack this one so we're doing pretty well we just got to really keep at it for a little longer we might have it soon okay there's a little bit of goo here oh no get up pikmin's no uh we are a little bit of a jam here this is kind of shocking i mean we've got i don't know if that pikmin survived or not oh he did <laughs> i mean we've got spicy sprays that we're not going to use the rest of the way so we might as well try to wrap this up the spicy sprays are very useful we've almost I mean, we've really got it on the ropes now We're so close to being done. There's a Pikmin way over there. It's on fire. And it's shocked. <laughs> I think we might have lost some, but I can't... See, I can't really tell. Oh, no, they're over there in the corner. <laughs> I keep thinking I'm losing Pikmin, but I'm not entirely sure if I am or not. But yeah, we're very close. Like... This is just... It's just a mat. It's a war of attrition, you know? You just got to keep hammering away. Hopefully that it doesn't throw a stupid core in your in your direction and knock Alpha. I actually have to be careful. Alpha's getting pretty close to being taken out. I don't think I've ever had a captain be removed from the field of battle before. Oh, Pikmin. No, you, you guys, you don't do well with the water. And you know it. And you know it. There's one Pikmin just hanging out somewhere. I don't know where it is. I don't remember seeing any of my Pikmin... No, get that, get that, get the goo, get the goo. Alpha's struggling. I might have to swap him out. Where's the... I'm... I don't know, maybe that Pikmin did cease to exist. I don't know. We're so close, as you can tell, obviously. All right. Get this goo. This is a lot of goo. Get the goo. Oh, yeah, guys, get that. Get that nasty, thick, creamy goo out of here. Yeah, we did have... I don't know where Pikmin number 40 went. Oh, no, he's up here. <laughs> oh, we're doing great, everybody. We're doing great. Come on, we're so close. I might bring Charlie and Brittany in here just to speed this process up because this guy's being an absolute jerk, yeah. We'll come down here and use our winged Pikmin just to have them in, in tow. Yes, yeah, he's just going to continue to try to like bury your Pikmin, but we got Brittany with a winged Pikmin here. Send them up there. Get them some involvement in this game. All right, everybody, switch to the rock Pikmin. Oh, it's killing some of our Pikmin. This is what you have to be careful with. Get him. Oh, he's almost dead. He's so close. Guys, we're doing it. Oh, we're losing Pikmin. This is the one downside to using the other Pikmin is that they're they're not immune to the attacks in the same way that uh No, 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 this is bad. Oh no, Alpha's <laughs> Alpha's down. <laughs> I've never had a captain die before. <laughs> oh goodness. I don't know what that does. Does he just get casually dropped on the Drake and that's it? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've just... That's really funny. I've never had that happen before. Poor Alf, but... Yeah, I've never had that happen. Yeah, this is the one thing where I was trying to be careful is like... The Plasm Wraith... Okay, apparently that's it. Just needed a little bit more damage. At least we talk him out when we were high. And he spit out the Rubik's Cube. No more hobbies for you, you jerk. And he turns into... The final goo as the gold cube melts away to present us with Captain Olimar. We did it, everybody. The wraith is gone. This feels pretty good. And Alf has been resurrected. <laughs> what a great ending. So now the Kopaites and the Hokitation, Olimar, have their final reunion. Or their first reunion, actually. So we were able to save him. 
And he does apologize for Louis Veriferous, 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 um, appetite. And there it is, the cosmic drive key, finally. Looks kind of like something you plug into an outlet, like a, like a very small, like a, like a scent thing, like a wall plug and like a scent bulb. And we offer to give Captain Olimar a ride home to Hokotate. And yeah, the, uh, the quaggled mild mayor, whatever, uh, destroyed his ship. For some reason, like they've boiled Louie down into like this very strange one dimensional, like food obsessed explorer. Like, I don't remember it being that bad in Pikmin 2, but I don't know. But yeah, we did it. And the Pikmin have all come to bid us farewell one last time. Maybe we'll come back. I don't know. Pikmin 4 has not come out yet, so. But yeah, we did it. The final battle is taken care of. We've read the land of PNF 404 of, of danger. There's no real backstory on the Plasm Wraith, but apparently it's still there. So we didn't actually get rid of it. We just, you know, freed Captain Olimar. So good for us. Hokotate apparently did not send their best, but Kopai did, and we were able to pull through. So we watched the Drake fly by one last time, now capable of cosmic drive with the cosmic drive key, to head back to Kopai and save the Kopites. And here's our final crawl. Ooh, that's not cryptic or anything, huh? So here we go, the credits roll. This has been a lot of fun. This game is great. And I remember when I got this for when I bought a Wii U way back when, I bought a bundle that came with some games on it, and it came with the opportunity to download a handful of games. And I learned from my past mistakes. When I bought a GameCube, I had the option to have Wind Waker, Metroid Prime, Double Dash. I chose Star Fox Adventures because I was a smooth-brained idiot as a child. But this time around, I learned from my mistakes. And of all the games to choose, I don't remember what the options were, but I picked this one. And I'm very happy. It was a great choice. This is a fantastic game. The Wii U version had a little bit more charm to it, a little more polish. But I'm glad they brought it to Switch. And this gives more people the opportunity to play it. This series in general is fantastic. If you're able to get a copy of Pikmin 1 or 2 for the GameCube or the Wii updates, please do that. It's just so much fun. And I don't know. These are always going to have a, a big place in my heart, obviously. All these games do. That's why I'm playing them. I've always really enjoyed them. I remember I borrowed a copy of Pikmin 1, and it was really tough for me as a kid to give it back. It's just so much fun, and all the games kind of have a different feel to them. 1 and 2 are obviously more similar, but Pikmin 3 is kind of its own thing, and they tried to tie in kind of retroactively putting in Captain Olimar and Louie as like, you know, relations to one and two. But I mean, you know, this game could have stood on its own, really. It's fantastic. You know, 
adding in the winged Pikmin, the rock Pikmin. There's just enough new stuff to keep old fans of the game going. And then new fans of the game, obviously, you know, if this is your first exposure to Pikmin, it's obviously has the most quality of life issue or quality of life assurances, not issues. And the dynamic is a, there's a little bit less pressure in this one. You know, the second game, there wasn't, there was pretty much none, but the first game, there was a bit of agency you needed to have. This one is kind of in the middle, but you know, we're being serenaded by the Pikmin one last time as we look through PNF 404. Hopefully Pikmin 4 is on the way because this game is fantastic and I love it. And I can't wait to be back in this world again with the Pikmin. This is a game that I think everybody should play and enjoy, take your time with, and, you know, just have a good, fun experience. And, <laughs> and here we go once again, uh, ruining the moment. You can... Uh, there's more challenges now, and we have unlocked Olimar's comeback in these side stories. So that's our final save screen for the regular playthrough of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yourselves. In the next couple weeks, there's going to be the Olimar kind of prologue slash epilogue missions that I'm going to do. Those should be really fun. Hopefully you guys enjoy those. They're not quite as involved as Pikmin 3. They're more kind of just fun side quests to do. But there's a handful of those that I'll be doing the next couple of weeks for you all to enjoy and watch. And then there'll be something new right before Thanksgiving. So thanks for watching, everybody. This has been the main story of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Stay tuned for more in the next two weeks as we wrap this game up. I've been D-Mike. Bye.